main menu. Um, so have you used FileMaker Go before? I have, yes. OK, awesome. So that gives you a step up already. Um, I want to just go through the two versions of FileMaker. Um, and then also uh, go through the settings and make sure you have all the right settings and everything. So you have, um, if you actually just go to your settings menu, that's usually the easiest way to see like all the apps that you have on your screen. Um, so do you have, which versions of FileMaker do you have? You'll see them pop up there. I just clicked FileMaker and it, it doesn't, it just says FileMaker Go. Okay, cool. So that means that you have version 17, okay. um, which for some reason they decided, if you can see my screen, they decided for 17 they just wouldn't write anything, and for 18 that they would put 18 down. <laughs> Um, because that makes total sense. So uh, let's just start by having you download FileMaker 18. Um, actually, you can just jump ahead and download. I think FileMaker 19 might be available now. Um, so if we can just both go to the App Store and search for FileMaker Go. FileMaker Go. And you said just download the 19? Yeah, you can go ahead and download 19. Uh, they changed their name to Clarice <laughs> or okay. Clarice. Yes. Um, so you can click get on that one. And then um, while we're at it, do you have Microsoft Teams on your iPad? I do not. OK, so that's another thing we want to get. So the Teams icon looks like this one up in the right hand corner here. OK. Um, so once you're done downloading that one, um, you can just search Microsoft Teams and get that one too. OK. And actually, there's one more app we should add while we're here, or maybe even two more. <laughs> OK, uh, yeah. downloading those two. What's the you said another app? Yeah, so um, we just started taking Lux readings, which are light readings. So we're using this um, app down here called Light Meter. Okay. Um, the full name of it is, let's see, I have it written down, so I'll pull that up. But let's see if we can find it by searching light meter. I I just found that icon. OK, just searching actually, light meter. Actually, there's yeah. a few very similar. Yeah, all right, that's the one. Yep, that's the one, Lux Light Meter Pro. So download that one as well. OK. Okay. Um, well, those are downloading. We can just go to the general settings and make sure a couple things are uh, switched on and off. So if you open up your iPad settings, uh, the first thing we want to do is go to general and then um, go to the keyboard. So it's right here below date and time. Okay. And then for um, this option, smart punctuation, just make sure that's turned off. All right. Yeah. Um, and then the next setting we need to change is scroll down until you get to uh, camera. OK. And then under formats right here, you want to just make sure it's selected most compatible. Sounds good. OK. Um, and then once your new file maker is downloaded. OK. So what is, is it under Clarice now? Mine's under, no, just file maker go 19. OK, I don't know why mine isn't showing up. Maybe it's still downloading. Mm. 
Let me uh, open my settings again. Hmm. OK, well, mine's not showing up, but you just click on that and then just make sure all of these options are turned on. I don't um, have any of those options when I click. Um, OK, we might have to like open it first for it to. You know how when you open an app first, it asks you all the questions. Yes, um, we might just have to do that. OK, so now that we have we both have FileMaker Go 19. Um, one thing I like to do is I like to actually add it to my menu. Um, so this is kind of for whoever is watching this in the future, um, but I like to add it there so that it's like a quick. Uh, quick grab, so just add it to my menu down here. Okay. And it's yeah. asking me if I want to register FileMaker Go. Yep, just click um, no you know, close on this. Yeah, if this is register, just click cancel. OK. Yeah. So so my, just, yeah, that, my screen looks like yours. OK, perfect. So this is um, so this comes with like four predetermined apps that you can run on FileMaker. Um, so if you ever end up in one of these screens or something like that, uh, and you're like, what is this? It just means that you're in one of those predetermined apps. So if you want, what you can do oops, is um, if you click select, you can just delete these all off of there. I like okay. doing that so that it just doesn't clutter it. OK, so now let's go and get the latest FileMaker file for this project. Um, I will send you a link, but I'll send you a link in your email actually. Um, so you can follow that link and then I'll just show how show you how to get there from Google Chrome. But basically all the files, the file is being stored on um, SharePoint, which is where we keep everything for our project. Um, and that's in our AM Docs account. So I happen to have this pulled up already. Um, I have the Albertson SharePoint open on my iPad right now. OK, perfect. Do you have it open in the SharePoint app or in Google? Um, in Google. OK, perfect, yeah. Um, some people have been trying to use the SharePoint app, and for some reason, I don't think the SharePoint app lets you download files from it. So we just always have to go from Google. Um, so once you have that open, you'll see a little bit different files here uh, because some of them are specific to uh, management. But if you just click AC Go File, um, it'll take you to um, a file right here. Yeah. And the nice thing is once you download that once, it'll automatically update. So if you click on here, Click on the file. It's going to open a new tab. You have to click download and then it's important that you make sure you see this number changing because sometimes for some reason you can click on it and it'll say downloaded immediately and it actually won't download anything. Um, I don't know what that's about, but. So once you watch those numbers change and it gets downloaded, um, it's actually going to open on your iPad and it'll immediately download the latest version. Um, so let me know when you get to this step. I'm there, but it, um, I don't see any of those numbers. OK, did it? Uh, it just immediately went to like download. Um, I, I click download and it says, do you want to download AC Go Albertson version three? So I click download again and then nothing really happens. OK. So go back to um, this page and click on it again and click okay. download again. OK, that is that is the page I'm on. OK. It it tries to pop up a new window and then it doesn't. Well.
Is there a way I could share my iPad screen with you? Um, yeah, if you. Let's see if you uh, are on. You're not on teams on your iPad right now, though, right? Correct. OK, because um, you could join the meeting from your iPad and then share your screen. Um, if you want to do that. Let's see if you. Hmm. Does it look like this at all or do you see anything up here? Or like this little download thing shows anything? No. OK, are you on Chrome or Safari? Safari. OK, so it might be a little bit different on Safari. Do you want to just try and open it in Chrome and see if it looks like this? That sounds good. OK. Yeah, if that doesn't work, then we can I can. Figure out a screen share. Were you able to open it up? No, I just I just keep hitting download and it's not downloading. OK, did you like click on the file name itself or did you click on like the three dots and then download or? I clicked on the file name then I um, I clicked on the little circle. I filled that in and clicked download. Um, I didn't see those three dots option. Gotcha. The, the same thing pops up though, and it, it asked me if I want to download that, but then nothing, oh, oh, something is downloading now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I have no idea why it does it sometimes, and then other times it just doesn't. Uh, it looks like I downloaded several times. So yes, I, I have that there now. Um, okay. So if you're able to see the download, um, like, can you see the size of them? Yes. OK, so pick the one that's like the full size and then um, I already downloaded it, so I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go another route, but when you click like open in and it pops up this little menu here when you're on that screen. You just want to scroll over and click more and then find your copy to FileMaker Go 19. Okay. okay. There it is. All right. And then click OK when it first pops up and then you're going to see this URL data transfer start. Um, and what's happening is it's just downloading the latest version of the app. OK. So that should take um, a minute or two, but 
The nice thing is that you only have to do this process once. Um, and then whenever I push a new version of the file, it'll just immediately download when you go back to this blank file to create a new building. OK, mine completed that um, transferring and then it says error connecting to asset calc and then just as details and there's no writing there, but there's an OK. Yeah, just click OK. I okay. I need to figure out that error. I tried fixing it and it just keeps popping up. But once you click OK, you'll see the same screen will pop up, but it should say version six and the white yes. square will go away. Yes. Mine is almost there. There we go. Um, so have you used oh and these are the version notes so it just it's telling you what's been updated since version five um so every time i push a new app it'll tell you a little bit of uh, information about what was changed like scope changes and stuff okay at this point i your screen froze uh it's Let me try stopping and starting presenting. OK, that's better. OK. Um, so have you used FileMaker for an FCA before, like AC Go, or have you just used it on environmental stuff? Just the environmental and PCA notes. Gotcha. OK, from uh, Melinda, right? I guess. <laughs> um okay so just really quick overview of how our files work um so if you want to just click close on this file okay and click okay so it's going to kick you back to your main file maker menu so if you see um and i'm going to change this to list view here just so i can see the name better um this says ac go albertson's version 6 blank um so how we work on our files is that we are always pushing out this blank copy of a file. Um, and every time you go on site, you basically open that blank copy, you enter your information, and it's gonna make a brand new file for that site, which you'll do all the work in. And then when you are ready to go to your next site, you go back to your blank version, enter your information, it creates a new one again. Can we pause for a sec? All of those applications that I've downloaded are all just popping up right now. Um, okay. Lost you for a second. Um, so I, I hit close like you just told me uh -huh. to do. I hit OK. And then I guess I'm in one of those apps because it says contacts. <laughs> um, so if you click like up on the top, they might have like a close or a back button or something. Um, OK, got it. OK, so I'm seeing what you see now. OK, perfect. Um, did you hear my bit about the blank file versus the? I did not. <laughs> OK, um, so how we um, work in the this division with FileMaker is that we are we send out copies of these blank files and it's kind of like a template. And so the idea is that you always have this blank file on your computer and it'll automatically update when there's a new update. Um, and every time you go on site, what you do is you go to the blank file, you enter your information. It'll actually save a copy of this template um, as for that new site that you're looking at. You fill in all the information in the site when you're all done, you close out that file, go right back to this blank one, and it'll save a new copy again. Okay. Um, so it's kind of like having a template Word document that you copy, fill information out, go back to the template, copy again. Um, so if you want to click on that blank version, all you need to do is just enter uh, your email here. <clears throat> and then change your assessment date to whatever date um, you would be going on site. And then when you're ready, um, you can just click create project. OK. And so then that's going to close that blank file and then open up a new file. So if I just click exit here, 
you'll see I now have two files. This one is the date for what I did the assessment, um, and it just gives you a random number at the end here just to keep the file separate. Um, and now you are ready to start working in AC Go. Um, have you, do you have access? I'm gonna stop the recording because I think that's all I need to go over. Um, but have you uh, given been given access to all the training videos and everything?